This latest emergency summit follows on from a two-day summit from just over a week ago in Brussels where EU leaders could not find a consensus or a qualified majority for any of those uh, nominees for the EU top jobs up for grabs. And those are, of course, the presidencies of the European Council Commission, European Central Bank and the EU Foreign Affairs Chief. Now, one of the main reasons why EU leaders are having such a tough time is because they want to reflect the democratic will of the people as exercised in the May EU parliamentary elections. And they also want to ensure a gender balance. Now, this is what Germany's Chancellor Angela Merkel had to say when she arrived at the summit. As things are going, the discussions won't be very easy, to put it mildly. Anyhow, the European Parliament, with two big factions, is fixated on the principle of top candidates. And yet, the biggest force, the European People's Party, has no majority in the European Parliament. And so, European Council President Donald Tusk will have a difficult task today, and we will try to be constructive. The race to replace Jean-Claude Juncker, the EU Commission president, is possibly one of the most contested jobs to fill. Now, the candidates proposed by the parties of the EU Parliament didn't get a majority at the last summit, but what we're hearing tonight uh, is that the socialist and liberal candidates seem to have some forward momentum at this summit. But the night, of course, is young and all could change. But here's a fun fact. Every day that, that an EU summit is held, it costs the EU taxpayer 450,000 euros. So the cost of indecision does not come cheap. And if no decision comes at this summit, the European Parliament, who expect to choose their president in Strasbourg on Wednesday, well, they may need to hold off on their plans. Mariam Zaidi, CGTN, Brussels.